If you wanna get filthy, stinking rich in crypto, the only way to actually make life-changing gains in a crypto bull market is alt season. It is altcoins, ladies and gentlemen. And some people say, might say that altcoin season is on the way. Well, today's video, guys, I'm here to tell you that alt season is already here. I'm gonna spell out a compelling case to show you data to prove that we are already in an alt season. I'm the first person to tell you this because the key is to not buy into alts when everybody is screaming alt season. It's too late at that point. You've already missed one, two, three, four, five X gains. And this is the data that we need to look into, guys. And also we're gonna talk about the momentum has not, it has died down a little bit. Things might seem sideways, but I'm here to show you that things are just around the corner. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the evidence that's showing you why alts are heating up, the altcoins that we've been talking about. And in the videos to come, I'm gonna tell you about my altcoin picks for the next coming or some might already say already here, bull market. All right, guys, if that sounds good to you. Like the video, because I bring you all this great content. I'm gonna show you how much great content we've been bringing you on the altcoin all picks that we've been making. And if you're new to the channel, what's up? My name is Kyle Chasse, welcome to my channel. I've been in crypto for 12 years. I myself have been making life-changing gains and I'm here to bring you guys the same kind of alpha and knowledge that I have. So, uh, Stanley Drunken Miller here at this conference. Uh, let's listen to what he has to say about Bitcoin. stuff with um, <laughs> and 17 years to me it's a brand I like gold because it's a 5,000 year old brand but the young people have all the money <laughs> or certainly uh, the ones on the west coast, coast do so um, I like them both okay. I don't own any bitcoin to be frank but I should there you go guys uh, billionaire coming out publicly saying that he likes bitcoin it's a brand we all know that if you're under the age of dinosaur, you're probably going to prefer uh, Bitcoin to gold anyway. And that's what everyone seems to do. All the, this is, it's, it's just, you guys all know this, right? You've been watching my channel. We know this now. Uh, if you had, don't, wake up. <laughs> uh, okay, so again, reiterating. Now, Mike Novogratz, billionaire Mike Novogratz, he knows more than we do, right? He is uh, in Galaxy, right? The founder of Galaxy. And uh, they are applying for Bitcoin spot ETF. So he probably knows without saying, he's telling you without telling you uh, exactly what's going on, right? Michael Novogratz reiterated that he expects the U.S. SEC will finally approve exchange-traded funds, ETF, that invest directly in Bitcoin this year. This year, guys. So again, we just have to look at who's in the know and, and learn from them. So again, even though things have been moving sideways, people are just waiting for this event to happen. But this point of this video is to start talking about uh, to front run everybody else in the altcoin <clears throat> in the altcoin things and things have already been going uh this article popped up i thought it would be interesting to you um, i think that they're far reaching on this i don't think that we're going to get uh this is i don't think we'll get this etf tomorrow uh, there's a tomorrow the point of this was there is a meeting tomorrow closed door meeting for the sec to discuss the uh you know the outcomes from the grayscale gptc ruling where the judge said that the sec was acting in an arbitrary and capricious way uh for not approving the spot bitcoin etf uh more evidence just to prove that we have to move to that uh we are seeing heavyweights uh market makers like jump um jump jane street virtue all saying that they're going to support or would like to support um the the BlackRock ETF, what it's traded on NASDAQ. And you can see, um, but what I, what I thought was really interesting here is according to a BlackRock slide deck reviewed by a per per person familiar with the matter. Now, um, what is interesting is how much effort is being put into this. There's also, you know, this is to show you that BlackRock is gearing up for this, like fully gearing up. We have not seen this ever before. Um, so much effort put into it. They're planning this. It's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. It's a certainty, all but a certainty at this point. Uh, like I've been saying to you guys over and over again, uh, those of you who've been watching my channel know this, um, I called this that these, you will start to see, now this is the fifth out of the eight, I believe, uh, institutions who are filing for the spot Bitcoin ETF who have now amended their filing to match that 
Uh, the first one we saw Arc Invest come out. These are the, the five additional pages of text that need to be added in order for this Bitcoin spot ETF to be approved. I expect that the rest of them to be following suit very, very shortly. Again, um, probably happening this week or early next week. And uh, my guess is that once all these things are, are done, uh, all these spot ETFs get approved on the same time period. We, we do know that the ARK Invest deadline is January 10th. That will be the latest that these things probably get approved. However, what we just said with Mike Novogratz, we know that this is probably going to happen uh, sooner than later. Um, now, this is really interesting to, to find out. I saw this on, I don't know if you guys have seen this on X, but this is Gary Gensler before he was chairman of the SEC. Listen to what he has to say. Bitcoin futures and I think Ethereum futures and so forth will exist, and Bitcoin ETFs have not. And that, that feels a little inconsistent to me. Uh, as an observer, and I'm now you know, in academia, right. but it seems it feels a little inconsistent, even though the laws aren't exactly the same, they're quite similar. Bitcoin. So you just have more and more evidence that, that Gary has been acting again in arbitrary and capricious ways, um, and that that's they're just he has no more room to go for denying these ETFs. And I, I thought this was funny. Um, <laughs> have you guys ever watched The Simpsons? Um, like, did they model uh, Mr. Burns after Gary Gensler? I don't know, but uh, this is, I thought this was hilarious. Uh, and then it was interesting to see, again, this kind of change of tone from Gary Gensler, uh, talking about the white paper from, um, you know, for the famous white paper from Satoshi, and, uh, and how he's just kind of coming out again and saying that, um, you know, that crypto companies need to act with the compliance. And then I showed you this video a while back, like last week of, of Gary from uh, being interviewed from Bloomberg, Talking about um, how the Bitcoin ETF will be a uh, you know a a regulated security. Um, so this is all but obvious. Okay, now we're getting into the altcoin section. Uh, what is important to note here is, guys, we're looking at a chart that shows you the crypto total market cap, excluding Bitcoin. So this is Ethereum, all altcoins, and you can see that we we were, we broke this major uh, resistance line, this trend line over here, uh, into you know basically altcoin season. Uh, this is, you know, now to get a better, even a better glimpse of this, we excluded ETH from this chart to show you that it's even more aggressively breaking through this trend line. And here you can start to see very obviously that this is the Bitcoin market dominance has hit the su support essentially or topped out because, you know, for the past month or something like that, or, or two months, uh, altcoins were bleeding out, right? I said the last month they've been doing actually pretty well, but the, the, the two months before that, Massive bleed out. This whole run up here, you know, essentially from uh, September, you know, early September, you saw Bitcoin dominance gaining, altcoins are bleeding, and now you see the reversal happening. You see that uh, that Bitcoin is starting to lose dominance, and I expect this trend to happen. Of course, you might get a big tick green, uh, big green candle up when Bitcoin ETF is approved, um, but we also saw when there was a fake approval from Coin Telegraph that altcoins pumped too. So. Now let's talk about some of the altcoins that we've been talking about that I have high conviction in. If you guys have been watching this channel and following these, these, uh, these, these moves that I've been making, congratulations. You can see here um, that w I have high, high conviction in Rollbit. Uh, when I first spoke about it was over here at 0.1219. Um, and where it's trading or where it peaked out at today uh, was at all-time highs. Uh, 91 almost 92% gains for, for me on that so far. Um, and congratulations if you've been following it. And guys, if you're trading, if you decided to doing this stuff on leverage, like this is why I started talking about Bybit recently. And in the description below, guys, if you do use Bybit, sign up getting my link. You can get nice, fat, juicy bonuses uh, using my link. And the, the rules are down there of, of how, what you have to deposit, KYC, and uh, you know how much you have to trade with in order to get these bonuses. But it's nice, you can do that, and you can trade with Bybit's money uh, to learn if you're learning, which, like I am. Um, I've been doing it incredibly well since I started trading. And uh, also, if you guys do sign up using my link and follow the rules, you can also get into my uh, VVIP Telegram group where we talk about trading and get all, kind, all, all kinds of altcoin signals and things like that. Um, Rollbits, uh, you know, I, for some reason, I don't know if it's because I'm here in Dubai or something, I can't load their website. Uh, let's give it a shot again. Nope, it doesn't work. So, um, but what is really crazy, guys, is, is it, it did hit all-time highs. You can see um, all-time all highs were hit three hours ago, and it has a little pullback since then, of course, um, but this thing is going to go on a crazy run. I expect it to be in the multi, multi, multi-billion market cap, $10, $20 billion, maybe even more in the bull run. We're at $739 uh, million dollar market cap right now. Now, 
one thing to notice here is that the total supply is far less than the max supply. Why? Because they've been burning. They're burning over, and they do that from this from the buyback and burns. They've been burning over a million tokens every single day. Um, and this is going to accelerate massively uh, in the bull run as they pick up revenue. As more people get more revenue, uh, the degenerate side comes out even more, more gambling, more revenue for roll bits, more buybacks, more burns, uh, more buy pressure, less supply, more pumping of the price. Those are amazing pumpamentals. Roll bit guys, if you happen to be watching this, um, please increase your revenue buybacks. It's, it's, uh, they've got three different products. They've got the casino, the sports book, and uh, I think the, the derivatives exchange. Um, and they're only, sh they're only doing 10%, 20%, and 30% of, uh, of the revenue for buybacks and burns. Why not increase that to 50%? Why not increase that to 60%, 70%, 80%? Then this thing will crank like crazy. Then, then you're talking about $100 billion if that does happen to happen. Um, it would be amazing if they do that. If not, I'm, I would be looking for a viable uh, rollback competitor um, in an early stage that, that has more of the revenue going to buybacks and burns. That would be amazing to see. Solana, guys, uh, when we first covered Solana, again, um, it's up 94 0.3% since I brought it to you guys. Uh, all you would have had to do was open like a 10x long right here, guys, and you would be up over 900, almost 950% on your trade. Uh, again, this is why it's great to, uh, to use some leverage in bull markets, but of course, be very, very careful when you do that um, just because you, you don't want to get liquidated. But again, this is an incredibly powerful way to, to use some leverage and make, make strong money in a bull market, you can totally uh, multiply your gains exponentially by using leverage. Again, do it in a very cautious way. We'll be in the VVIP group. Um, we'll be teaching you guys how to do that, making sure that you don't overexpose yourself, uh, all this kind of stuff. And one more thing to drive home the point on Solana, why it's my most favorite alt one right now is this reason over here. Watch this, guys. This is uh, the Solana Breakpoint Conference that's happening right now. And this is talking about what I told you guys about recently, this fire starter product that they have. Watch this. On the inbound, incoming transactions getting processed at the network interface card, signature verification, and dedupe. Um, early demos from the Fire Dancer team have showed the ability to process over 1 million transactions per second, per tile, per CPU core. On a multi-core envi uh, multi environment, you are handling multiple gigabits per second of inbound traffic on a single core, right? Some people run 16 core machines, some people run 32 core machines. The team was able to show, just using four cores to handle incoming transactions, practically maxing out a 25 gigabit link, right? You put a network interface card on your server, it can handle one gigabit, five gigabit, 25 gigabits. This thing was running four cores, no problem. Um, scales up. Network interface cards get faster. We put more cores on the machine. You can imagine this continues to scale to millions and millions of transactions that this is handling. No problem. So that, that is why I'm incredibly bullish on Solana, guys. It, it's nice to see an alternative layer one that is actually innovating. Uh, We'll see how this works in the real world, but in testnet, it's mind-blowing. I made this video specifically on Solana recently. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. And let me know in the comments below, guys, what altcoins you want me to cover. I will be talking to you about my favorite altcoins for the upcoming bull run, how I expect them to, for myself to make life-changing gains. And if you guys are making the same things, I hope the same for you. I will catch you guys on the next one. See ya.